Um, how often do you drop? Because it, it just um, dawned on me when you were just like, you're trying to find like a medium between the two styles. I think sometimes, so the past, what, five years I would mm -hmm. say I'm doing this, I would drop two collections a year. Okay. So I would do a summer, spring collection, then I would do a resort. So this year, I haven't dropped anything, honestly, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of happy. I'm trying to figure out what exactly do I want to pivot somewhere else or do I want to, you know, keep doing what I'm doing, but like make it more broader to like everyone oh, wow. can kind of see like mm -hmm. colors, like what's working. It was fun to have a conversation today uh, with a, a woman that wants to, you know, do some wholesale with me, but she was like, what are you working on? I'm like a new collection. She does something new. I'm like, honestly, I'm trying to pivot, but I'm also trying to stay what I'm doing because I feel like it's working. So why change it? Right. But for, for me, it's like, I want to go back to what I was doing when you first saw my collection, like the suiting. That's where my heart is. That's where I see the woman. But it's like, this is not a hobby. We're here to make money. It's not about what I like. It's not. It's not the customer. So the customer liking this crinkle taffeta this airy flow um you know whimsical flowy like keep doing it why are you trying to pivot and change like mm -hmm. we're trying to sell you know so i'm still trying to figure out still like are, are we doing suiting or being the two are we just going to keep going with this crinkle taffeta material and just kind of hitting it here here which people love you know i'm always big mm -hmm. about like changing something up but I mean, if it's, if it, what they say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Right. right. But you also so, got to incorporate what you love. Yeah, you do. But then again, girl, it's not about me anymore. Like, it's about the woman, the Isaiah woman. You know, we're, it goes back to we're evolving. So it's not about, it's not about me. So I'm just kind of like, I'm here to basically create something for women that feel comfortable and they love it. So if I'm making something they don't love, it's not, it's it's not about them so you know it's it doesn't make any sense like why are we doing this that's the case i would make the clothes for myself and right. not sell it right. <laughs> but to answer your question twice a year but this year i haven't dropped anything i'm supposed mm -hmm. to drop a fall collection i'm in the works of that but i'm you know kind of like trying to get the kinks out trying to figure out are we doing suiting or are we sticking to what we know what what sells have you conducted like a market research with your most repeated customers to see like what they love about your brands i did something like that what do you call it like a focal group i did like yeah. a survey maybe a year ago and it was more based upon like why haven't you bought or like what's stopping you like what do you like about the brand mm -hmm. i mean a lot of the ladies were just like your brand you know it seems like it's for women that have to always be going somewhere and i was just like that's not the case so you can really wear it every day mm -hmm. so I, I also will drop certain silhouette sketches and be like hey what sketch would you like mm -hmm. they all seem to not go to blazers and suiting yeah that's, that's not la so i was just like okay they're not liking that they like you more of what i'm doing you know simple flowy mm -hmm easy i was like okay then i can't do this suiting thing it's not gonna work right but, but i'm not losing hope like this blazer that i love did it do well it didn't like it was something different i mean i sold it to stack mm -hmm. that did its thing but on my end no no so i was right. just like okay i'm just really seeing what i like is not selling so i'm like okay we can't be sad about it. We have to pivot and move. Right. Yeah. Marketing is a tricky thing. And tapping into the minds of your customers. It's the ongoing thing. And you really do. You really do. It's listen to the analytics. Yeah. You know, it's not always what you want. And you really just have to have tough skin. And, yeah. just, and just move on. So, I mean, the, my best seller that I absolutely did not like. I did not want to drop on my in the fashion show that you first mm -hmm. saw. Guess mm -hmm. what? It's like the best seller. It's keeping the lights on. It's it's, it's <laughs> you know, like it's it's the ones that you think you know it's the ones that you hate. Like the silhouettes are the are like your best sellers that take off. So right. 
you know, I'm just, I'm just listening to that. Cross the <laughs> Don't you, I, I had to do it during the pandemic and I had time because the pandemic was so long, but yeah, you are actually like selling products. So like the process is like longer for you. Yeah. I'm just a service provider. Yeah. I need to come over here and get these clothes. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> y'all women is different. I like my business women. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 